Good morning, Reavers. I'm Daniel. This is Coralust, and I have a whole lot to tell you. It's been a long time since I've done a video. We've been pretty busy, and there's just, like I said, so much going on. So, as much as I hate this view, I hate the camera looking at me, um, but I have, um, let me see, Bentley with me. He is playing tricks. Let's see. And Griffin, where are you at, buddies? Where are you at? So, this is one of the problems. I worked from home for a long time and these puppies were very distracting and they didn't let me get much done because they were always wanting to play. Um, so that's one of the reasons why actually we got Bentley a friend, Griffin, and um, yeah, they just been annoying me ever since. So, excuse my view, but we're taking a trip. Going downstairs and I'm gonna show you guys the Chateau del Corleste, whatever you wanna call it. Um, get a good look. So, I am hoping that this is going to be the last time I see this place. Um, just kidding, but no, the house is for sale, and I'm hoping that it gets sold in the next day or two. And we are adding some new friends to this tank today. I can't resist. Um, I've always had coral in here and I want to just add some more mean guys. So, um, I'm gonna switch this camera around so you guys can actually see better. And I have mine flipped over so I keep looking at the camera there and it's over there. So, sorry for that guys. Eye contact is important, that's why you're seeing me. And I turn the camera around. So, what's up? Say hello if you're watching this video. Alrighty? Um, so here we go, one, two, three. All right, this is so much better. I feel feel better behind the camera. Um, so, all right, so here we go. This is a New Jersey blue crab. He's very cool, and he's waiting to get fed. But I am actually gonna pull him out, <clears throat> excuse me, while I acclimate my two new friends. I'm a little bit afraid that he may try to kill the guy and they may get in a fight, even though these two are mortal enemies. Um, I don't know who would win at this moment. The one's a little bit smaller, and it would be a good fight to the death. But, but yeah, we don't want to do that just yet. So I'm going to take him out and move him so he doesn't mess with our new buddy. Okay, so those of you who have seen this tank before, check it out. Uh, we have our two buddies who are now best friends. Our shark and our eel who hang out together all the time, and they eat together, so that's pretty nice of them to share a cave. So, we have a damsel. Other than that, this tank is pretty much bare, and the infestation of Aptasia, who I let go, and they just went absolutely insane with no one to pick at the rocks or basically scrape them off. So, Aptasia seems to be a little problem in there, but what do you do? That's um, why we're gonna throw in this, this guy over here. He was at the store, and he was going absolutely freaking crazy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, what are you doing, buddy? Uh-oh. Ugh, I don't know if you guys can see who that is. Ugh, he'll climb up the side of the bag. So I gotta be careful. But, um, alright. So this is the rabbit fish that was at the store. And if you would walk by the tank, he would just like try to bite the glass. So he was extremely aggressive and pretty crazy. So we're gonna throw him in here. And with the other guys and see if he, um does the same stuff, but at least he'll be entertaining because that's what this tank is for, right? So, I finally have my predator tank. Anyone who stops by the store with a fish who's too aggressive in their home reef tank, I just throw them in here. At least that's what I'm willing to do, guys. So feel free to donate your fish to this tank. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna acclimate these two right now and we'll see how he feels, but I gotta catch that blue crab and then put the octopus in there. So, the colors on this rabbit fish are just stunning. He's in his like camouflage defense mode and it's cool. They change colors pretty quickly. But, what's up, Griffin? What's up, little buddy? So we're back and the octopus is acclimated and he's ready to go in. 
but this dude is crazy. You can see him changing colors. He is reaching out the water and trying to explore and see what's on the other side. So <clears throat> I don't know if I want to put my hand in there again. Uh, he has a strong grip. It's pretty funny because um, Eric has an electric catfish and I put my hand in the other day in the bucket and it gave me a pretty decent shock. I was kind of kind of uh, wowed by how small that little catfish was and how much it shocked me. So I'll have to talk about that later and show you guys some things. So let's get him put in there. Mm. Ah, Jesus, that's freaked me out. <laughs> ah, he's got a strong grip on that bit. Ow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want you to bite me, dude. I really don't. <laughs> But should I make friends with him? I really should. Uh. All right, so he's ready to go, and we got blue crab out. He's pretty big. Beautiful crab, though. Man, that blue is gorgeous on him. I know he's in a purple bucket, so it's really hard to see, but he's got some decent colors. And this guy over here, man, what the heck? problem when I'm looking through the camera I don't have like I feel freaky put my finger in there because I can't like have my reaction time um, and he wants to hit me I know he does he's just waiting for me all right I won't tease him too much I'll feed him later and make him happy but let's get this let's get this in here uh, shoulders up shoulders up yeah I can barely move oops as I splash the camera oh man he right away started doing this color thing now the lights are here blue so it's hard to see as I always say that but mm -mm -mm. all right I'll give him a little time to get out I freaked myself out with a current blowing. It's blowing the bucket. All right, what am I doing? Man, he's so cool. He's watching me. He turned completely black. And he's flashing some colors. It's hard to see in here with that light. Oops. Of course, I stopped my hand wet, but there you go. All right, everyone's in the tank. I just want to do a little final goodbye for right now. Uh, we're going to leave the house. We're going to go back to the store. I have a few things I have to catch up on, but the... Octopus is pretty happy. He took off and hit under the rocks and we put the blue crab in the bottom and there's something I couldn't believe. Um, I literally thought this would be polluting my tank and this would be completely dead. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I took the light off of here about, I don't want to say like four months ago maybe. This chato is still green. I'm actually really impressed by that. So I thought it would have been brown, it would have been rotted, decayed, dead. Um, but it's still green and the coralline algae is still purple which is pretty impressive so there's literally barely any flow down here and there was no light and it was just sitting there forever and it's pretty good so like I said I'm impressed by that I will mount this later um, a light for here but good enough for now 